Al-Ula is a city located in the northwest of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. With a history that dates back to pre-Islamic times, it is known for its well-preserved ancient structures and heritage sites. However, despite its significance, it is forbidden for Muslims to visit the city. This prohibition stems from a historical event that took place during the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The place is also known as Madain Salih, that is home of the Qawm Thamud, nation of Thamud. The people of Prophet Salih السلام, who were known for their miraculous strength and skill in making the mountain carvings and constructions we still can see today. This region was also very fertile. However, this abundant natural wealth in this region made the rich people among the Thamud people became arrogant and cruel. Prophet Saleh السلام, was then sent to guide them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As narrated in the Holy Quran, and remember, when he made you successors after the Ad and settled you in the land, and you take for yourselves palaces from its plains and carve from the mountains homes, then remember the favors of Allah and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. However, instead of accepting his message, they challenged him to perform a miracle to prove his prophethood. They challenged him to produce a camel out of the nearby rocks. Saleh prayed, and a miracle happened from Allah. A camel appeared among them and gave birth to a calf. Some of them believed in Saleh salam's prophethood, while others refused it, and two of them killed the innocent camel. As a punishment for their actions, Allah also sent an earthquake in the middle of the night and none of them woke up ever again. In Surah Al-A'raf verse 78, Allah says, Thereupon a shocking catastrophe seized him so that they lay prostrate in their dwellings. All that remains are the massive buildings and monuments they carved out of the mountains and rocks as we can still see today. The big earthquake that occurred thousands of years ago has also diminished the underground protective layer of the earth. Nowadays, scientists have discovered a huge hole in the ozone layer of the atmosphere right above this destroyed area. This places the region at a high risk for earthquake damage, various skin diseases, cancer, and natural storms. When Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him passed by this place while going for the Battle of Tabuk, he specially pointed this place out to his companions. As an Ibrat, he ordered them to drink water only from the one well used by the camel of Saleh السلام, and forbade them to eat and drink anything from that area and pass through it rather quickly. In addition, he recognized that the temple of Al-Manat had a strong influence on the people of the city and the surrounding areas. He feared that if Islam allowed Muslims to visit the city, they would be influenced by the idol worship of the people of Al-Ula and would be at risk of deviating from the true teachings of Islam. To avoid this risk, Prophet Muhammad prohibited Muslims from visiting Al-Ula. He issued an order that forbade any Muslim from entering the city or visiting the temple of Al-Manat. Additionally, he warned his followers that the people of Al-Ula were engaging in practices that were considered idolatrous and against the teachings of Islam. Therefore, they should avoid any association with the people of the city. The prohibition of visiting Al-Ula may seem drastic, but it served a significant purpose. The order was meant to protect the faith of Muslims from external influences that could potentially harm it. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him understood the importance of steadfastness in faith and the potential risks 
of diverting from the true teachings of Islam. He knew that Muslims needed to be protected from any influences that could cause them to deviate from their religion. The prohibition of Al-Ula also teaches us an important lesson about the importance of loyalty and obedience to Prophet Muhammad's teachings. Muslims should follow the Prophet's guidance and adhere to the principles of Islam without deviation. By doing so, they can protect their faith and prevent any potential harm that might come from external influences. In today's world, there are many dangers that can lead Muslims astray from the teachings of Islam. The modern world is full of temptations that can divert Muslims' attention from their faith. However, the prohibition of Al-Ula provides a timeless lesson that still applies today. Muslims should always remain steadfast and loyal to the teachings of Islam and avoid any activities or practices that go against it. Wow, this is very, very important, guys. And it's that will bring problem or that will divert you from God that will not want you to get closer to God. And now I got to understand why they restrict people from going from the Awoda, the Awoda. I don't know how to pronounce it very because of you know those images there so that people know, know forget the reason why they were created. They won't forget God that it was God they need to worship and not images. So if they don't restrict them, before you know it, people will start worshipping images than worshipping God Allah himself. So it's just how it all started, this whole story of why they ban people from worshipping there and why you know you should not go there because if they don't ban people from going there and you decide so okay let me go there you'll be you will not know when you'll be moved you know to try and look at the image and anything you don't see you cannot be you can't be enforced to do it or to to obey or to try and you know give reference to that thing but if you see something that is not good and you don't move away from such things that are harmful for you know you find yourself doing things that you're not supposed to do see you know just to avoid people from worshipping images so that they will not lose focus on God Allah himself that's why they ban people they want Muslims from going to that place this was an interesting one and I enjoyed this I'm still trying to digest the whole story because I'm not Muslim this formation are kind of new to me but what that is the major part I can actually get from this video about the images. So this is really brilliant and beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.